Nehru faced a war and was dealt a sharp defeat. The results were clear. The eastern provinces became a part of China. Only the former autonomous region kept the name Tibet, a means of isolating it. Then came the continuation of the Chinese method. But the Chinese propaganda did not show the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people of exhaustion and hunger. There was terror, torture, and rape. Monks were crucified, burned, and buried alive. Children were forced to kill their own parents. People fled across the mountains to escape the horror and the famine ravaging the country for more than three years. More than 100,000 people were able to join the Dalai Lama in India. At Dharamsala, he established a Tibetan government in exile and on March 10, 1963, announced a democratic constitution. The violence and acts of resistance continued. They were known as the Special Border Force, a Tibetan underground commando unit trained and maintained by the CIA. Crossing a mountain pass, there was a moment for prayers. There was fighting and ambushes, typical partisan guerrilla warfare.
For the Dalai Lama, this was not the right path. His message broadcast on the radio reminded Tibetans that violence was contrary to Buddhist principles and that he opposed it. <laughs>